me not having one, it's a mistake I've made, I would say. I would, my friend, uh, I've interviewed people that have said, you know, one of the best pieces of writing advice, writing business advice, at least, you know, this isn't about the actual act of creation, but about the act of marketing was creating a website, even if it's a rudimentary website, just like a single page, you know, kind of uh, WordPress that you just have links to your stuff on. Um, your published stuff doesn't even have to be like books that you have out to buy or anything, just like links. Well, people can find that now, you know, if you just have something that's searchable. And people sometimes use social media accounts for this too. You know, that's changed where if you can do a social media account and the way they let you pin and highlight things on social media accounts, you can create, I've seen people do this long threads of just all of their published work for like 10 years worth of published work. So if anybody's interested, you can go through and just see it. And I guess that's a cheaper way yeah, it's like a cheaper way to do it than to have like a web page. But the web page is always makes you look more professional, easier for people to contact you when you have like an email address and stuff up there. I mean, it's easier now than ever to do something like this. So I mean, if writers that aren't doing it like myself, I mean, it's just laziness at this point, you know. And when you have to pay, when you even if it's a short, like a small amount of money, I think it just kind of intimidates people like, oh, no, I have to pay like, whatever it is. And usually, yeah, it's like 12 to $20, like a dollar or two a month to host a domain name or something. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's really no other option. You know, it's, I think it's part of that self marketing, putting yourself out there. Uh, and it's much easier now than it was even five years ago with all these kind of, yeah, you know, Squarespace and, and WordPress and then yeah, it's Substacks, all these different places that are really find a way found a way to monetize that whereas it's not just writers that need websites you know doctors and all this stuff if you just have your own business in any capacity whatever services therapists you know you're offering people consulting any of that you just need your own website because we just live in a world where if you don't have a website you know you don't exist like people can never find you uh facebook pages all that kind of stuff